In this video, we're going to attempt to find how long it will take Brittany and Cosmo to build a shed. Brittany builds the large shed in 10 days. Oh, not 10 days, I'm sorry, but 10 days less than Cosmo. If they built it together, it's going to take them 12 days. So let's see what we know about Brittany, Cosmo, and the team. Brittany does it in 10 days less than Cosmo. We aren't really told anything about Cosmo, so let's make Cosmo equal to our variable. Brittany's going to do it in 10 days less. To get 10 days less than Cosmo, we need to subtract 10 from Cosmo's x. We're also told as a team, together, they do it in 12 days. We can now use this information to make an equation out of the reciprocals. We will add the reciprocals of the individual to equal the reciprocal of the team. Brittany, 1 over x minus 10, plus Cosmo's reciprocal, 1 over x, equals the team's reciprocal, 1 over 12. This gives us an equation we can solve by clearing the fractions with the least common denominator. Remember, x minus 10, the whole denominator is a factor in itself, so we need 12x, x minus 10, for the least common denominator. Multiplying each term by 12x times x minus 10, And then simplifying, we see the x minus 10's divide out, leaving 12x plus. We see the x's dividing out, 12 times x minus 10 equals the 12's divide out, x times x minus 10. We can start solving by doing a little distributing to get 12x plus 12x minus 120 equals x squared minus 10x. Combine like terms to get 24x minus 120 equals x squared minus 10x. We need the equation to equal 0, so let's move everything to the right. Keeping x squared positive, we'll subtract 24x and add 120. Subtract 24x and add 120. It's going to give us 0 equals x squared minus 34x plus 120. I'm going to scroll a bit so that we can solve this. We're going to solve by factoring, because you should be able to see that 120 is 4 times 30, x minus 30. And x minus 4, again, if you're not sure, you could have also completed the square at this point, or you could have used the quadratic formula. Both those options work. And so when we set each factor equal to 0, x minus 30 equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0. We'll add 30 to both sides. x is equal to 30. Add 4 to both sides, x is equal to 4. So we have two possibilities. Either 30 or 4 is the time it takes for x or Cosmo to complete the job. So let's say Cosmo could be 30 or Cosmo could be 4. Maybe it's both. Let's see what happens when we look at Brittany's time. It asked about both of them. Brittany's time was x minus 10, or 10 less than Cosmo. When Cosmo was 30, 10 less would be 20. Okay, what about when Cosmo is 4? If Cosmo does the job in 4 hours and Brittany does the job in 10 hours less, 4 minus 10 would be negative 6. Well, that doesn't work. The job can't be done in negative 6 hours. It's not done before you start. So the only possibility that really makes sense in the real world is that Cosmo's going to spend 30 hours on the job and Brittany's going to spend 20. We found those answers by first identifying Brittany and Cosmo algebraically, x and x minus 10. The team was 12, and then we set up a rational equation using the reciprocals of the individuals, equaling the reciprocal of the team. We cleared the fraction with the LCD, and solved by factoring, completing the square or quadratic formula, to get our final solutions.